hey what's up guys welcome to another video on salesforce bolt so guys in today's video we will be converting the images to pdf on the file uploader so we'll be using a file uploader a custom file uploader in lightning web component and on the upload success function we will convert the image into pdf uh, so i'll be using the pdf lib uh, library which i have used in my previous example as well so so uh, for the functionality guys we need basically two things uh, first will be the pdf conversion functionality and the second will be a custom lightning file uploader function so guys for the custom lightning file uploader function instead of creating a new one i mean it was better to find a solution online and just use it in for this demo so i'm using a uh, custom lightning file uploader uh, from amit singh's blog sftc panther and i have implemented my convert to pdf code in it just to convert the images to the pdf format okay so let's start with the output first let me show you the output of it so this is my account and here i'm having a tab convert images to pdf okay so for testing purpose let me yep so here i'm having three files guys so first one is a normal pdf file second one is a png file and third one is jpg file okay so using this custom file uploader i will be uploading these three files let me hit ok button which is hidden by my picture okay so guys basically i'm having code on change event of this file uploader so basically what it is doing on change event first it will check like if the file extension is not pdf because if the file extension is already pdf then we don't have to convert it so if the file extension is jpg or maybe png then it will just get the uh, base 64 data of that file it will convert it as a blob and then we will send the blob to the apex and from the apex we will update the version data okay so seems like our file has been uploaded successfully so let's go to the related list now and in notes and attachment you may see three files here so let me just open it one by one so this was the i think png this was the jpg and this was the pdf okay so let me show you the file output now okay it is taking some time to load right okay so guys this was a png file and now it is a pdf and here it was a jpg now it's also pdf and the pdf as usual it was a pdf and it is a pdf right now okay so guys uh for this functionality i have implemented the pdf lib library functions so you may directly go to their official website and check the code itself it is pdflib.js.org and from here i have used i have used the embed functions so there were basically functions like embed png and embed gm uh, jpg so i have used embed png and embed jpg to embed the jpg or png file on a new empty PDF document so basically we are creating a empty PDF page first and then we are drawing that JPG or PNG file in it okay now let me show you the code so guys this is the functionality this is the code uh, for the HTML file and in HTML file I'm just having a file uploader only so this is just my HTML file okay and now let me go to the javascript part okay so this is the main thing guys here we are doing the magic so first of all i'm using handle file change and on handle file change i'm just sending the files to another function which is process file to convert this process file to convert is a asynchronous function because the function from pdf library which we are using here was async function so we have to fi send the file one by one so 
here we are sending the file one by one using this for loop and if you will notice I'm using await here to pause the process until the first file will get converted successfully. So here we are using create file content function and here in async create file uh, content function basically what we are doing here we are just creating the file as a PDF. Uh, you may notice like here we are checking if the file type is application uh, slash PDF then I'm if the file type is not equal to application slash PDF then I'm sending it to embed image file function if the file is already PDF so we are sending it to prepare file to upload okay so let's say if a file is JPG or maybe PNG so it will send the file content and the file type to this embed image file function so basically in create file content function we are creating the content we are creating the base 64 uh, data of the file then let's go to embed uh, image file so here we are getting the data and the file type as well and here uh, I'm checking like if the file is PNG then I'm using embed PNG and if the file is JPG then I'm using embed JPG here okay and underneath that I'm checking image dimensions like the normal PDF file width is around 595 pixels so I'm checking here if the image file dot width if the image width is greater than 595 then I'm scaling the image basically we are resizing the image ratio based on the existing size so let's say if our PDF width is 1000 and image width is 2000 then it will scale the image with with 50% lesser width to you know just to adjust the image in the new created PDF and underneath that we are using PDF dot draw image to draw that image on a PDF file so here basically we are just creating a empty PDF document first and after creating the document we are drawing that JPG or PNG file okay after that we are just sending it to another function which is prepare file to upload if it is already a PDF file then we are calling this function directly so as usual we are passing the bytes here we are passing the base 64 data here okay and in this function guys we are just uh, converting the data into blob and here we are checking if the blob size is greater than max file size which is 5 MB around so if the size is greater than 5 MB then uh, as per best practice we should share the data from this uh, to apex in chunks only and in apex then we can append that file so this is the functionality to send the data to apex in chunks and here we are using upload and from this upload part to this upload chunk save file this is just a normal uh, file save functionality in which we are just sending the base64 data to the apex that needs to be stored in the content version all right and here we are just formatting the bytes of the sizes we are just checking with the sizes in kb mb gb tb so in my case i'm just having kb or sometimes i'm having bytes only okay and guys uh, one more thing don't forget to import this library at the top of your file and apart from that you have to import this load script as well to uh, you know load the javascript file okay and guys i'm also using the apex save the chunk file functionality this is the same functionality which you may get from any other code online you may search for any rela any related code which is using the customized functionality to upload the file the code will be same almost the code will be same everywhere so you may use any code which is available already online to save the data and you may use this code to convert the file into the uh, into pdf the jpg or maybe png okay so guys uh, this was the functionality if you need more details so you may just directly go to this pdflib.js here you are here you will be getting uh, n number of examples to play with you know your pdf file uh, import images in it embed text in it so there are multiple functions available and you may use it as per requirement or you may directly go to this example link uh, let me show it to you there's a link to view the feature set it is basically github library and from this library we are using the embed functionality let me show it to you here it is 
So this is embed PNG and JPG images. So we are using this function here right now to embed our JPG image. In my previous example, I have used the create document function from the same library. So this is uh, actually I found this library very handy to use and the best part it is free to use. So you don't have to pay any you know additional charge to use this library. Okay. And guys, as usual, I will be having complete code on my blog also. So you may directly go to my blog, which is salesforcebold.com and check out the complete code there as well. Feel free to modify the code that's for your requirement. And if you find this uh, video useful, then a subscribe to the channel will be awesome. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.